what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about late night with the devil in this video here today so this will be a spoiler free review for late night with the devil which is directed by colin and cameron Kerness. this is supposed to go to shutter next week i think uh it had its premiere at south by southwest on march 10th i've watched it tonight or by the time you yeah by the time it's uploaded i watched it last night but we're gonna get into that this film is of course starring david desmalchin laura gordon ian bliss and who's the girl that plays lily ingrid torelli is her name so this is presented in a found footage type of way found footage style it's revolving around david desmalchin starring as jack delroy the host of a fictional 1970s variety and late night talk show titled night owls with jack delroy the film purports to be derived from a rediscovered master tape of an episode from the show's sixth season broadcast on halloween 1977 during this live television broadcast havoc unfolds when delroy interviews a parapsychologist and the subject of her recent book a young teenager who was the sole survivor of a satanic church's mass suicide so late night with the devil is the first decent horror film i've watched in 2024 i have not seen lisa frankenstein but i do plan to check that out still but for me this is the first decent one i've seen so far in 2024 finally i was able to wash away founders day imaginary and night swim with late night with the devil a film that you all will get to check out soon because it drops next week i believe on shutter the commitment to the late night presentation was the most attractive quality for this film easily everything down to the aspect ratio was just fantastic i will say though that other than that it was just a passable horror film that does sort of waste its potential jack delroy also known as mr midnight hosts this late night show filled with sketch comedy called night owls the story as i pointed out is set during the 70s when chaos specifically satanic panic and black magic stuff was running amok so this show is a way for americans to escape their day-to-day -day troubles during the week jack is a widow with a desire to be number one or be the number one late night show and much more that we're told about him during an opening sequence as his public image continues to take a nosedive with his show on the line as well now this opening montage was easily the weakest part of the screenplay for me while it filled me in on who jack is and his motivations dumping it all at once did little to warrant my investment in his character dr june ross mitchell and lily will be the highlight tonight for jack and his night owls june has written this book about lily's unfortunate circumstances june is a parapsychologist as i pointed out and lily is nothing more than her subject so she can understand the entity that's inside lily or mr riggles as lily puts it despite these characters lacking depth the dialogue between jack and his guests keep the story compelling leaning into the conversations about lily's case being fake or real drives this film the story constantly escalates from one horrific event to the next making it impossible to not be invested over time granted there are some comedic bits to the story that don't really work for me some do others don't because again it's supposed to be this late night show type of thing so some aspects of it are trying to be comedic a lot of it just didn't work for me some of the story beats are not breaking new ground by any means like the skeptic that doubts the demonic activity and attempts to prove it's a hoax live on the air but late night with the devil keeps the proceedings between these characters intense and gripping for the most part once lily arrives anyway that is until it isn't once the dialogue started turning into more of a reenactment of the exorcist it loses steam notice how she called this entity mr riggles didn't uh dang it i don't even remember her name from the exorcist linda blair's character reagan she had a name for that entity i can't remember what it's called but then it starts becoming more of a reenactment of the exorcist with the dialogue as the film progresses and that's when it just started losing me it had off-putting visual effects that entered the room after a round of impressive effects prior to this which really had me scratching my head i was shocked at how quickly this started going off the rails during its third act admittedly the performances from david desmalchin carried the project every performance i would say is great but desmalchin's energy is on another level the way he captures all of jack's emotions i thought was very impressive the charming late night host appearance quickly vanishes whenever it's time for a commercial break and just watching him bounce back and forth between that was incredible ingrid torelli i would say is terrifying as lily it all came down to her posture and delivery more than anything 
something is unsettling about her the minute she arrives i do think that the pacing could have been better because that third act just comes and goes with none of the events that transpired on my screen making any impact on me as a viewer whatsoever it kind of was just over and i was like what the hell just happened the opening montage overstayed its welcome when the details could have just been explored as the film progressed to a degree it felt like late night with the devil didn't trust its audience enough the way it exposition dumps stuff that really didn't need to be exposition dumped that severely i'd give this film a six out of ten it's not the worst thing i've ever seen but it's definitely squandering a unique concept and coast on strong performances and its fantastic set designs that help capture the aesthetic of the 70s late night show it's going for and again the fact that they got it all down to a t even with the aspect ratio i thought was very impressive but you guys can let me know what you think about this film when you check it out when it drops on shutter next weekend i again give it a six it was the first decent horror film I watched this year. Lisa Frankenstein might be better. I'll let you know when I watch that movie. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.